Hey guys, today we're looking at the problem minimum depth of a binary tree and what I've done here is I've just outlined the question um, and so we're given a binary tree here and what we need to do is find the minimum depth of the number of nodes along the shortest path. So if we take this example here, we can see that the minimum depth is 2, which is what we're supposed to return and that's because when we go over um, to the left side here, we're going to count this node as one and then this node as one. So that's how we're getting the two. And if you compare it to the other side, you can see that there's three nodes here. So one, two, three. So we, we don't want to return this side. We want to return the um, side with the, the count of the minimum node in that tree. Okay, so I hope the question is clear. Now let's look at some ways to solve this problem. Awesome, so I'm going to solve this problem recursively and um, I just want to throw an edge case out here. So if we have a skewed tree like this, the answer we're supposed to return is not zero because there's um, no nodes on this side. We actually need to return five, which is counting all these nodes. So one, two, three, four, five. So the minimum depth of a tree like this is going to be five. And I, I didn't think about this case when I was originally solving the problem, but we do need to keep this in mind. Okay, so let's do a quick solution walkthrough. So we have our base case here where we want to return zero when we hit the root is null. So that means we're at the bottom of the tree here, for example, um, and we want to stop the recursion there at that leaf node. Um, otherwise, what we're going to do is get the left depth and the right depth. And to do this, we're just going to recursively call the min depth function. And then we're going to encounter a case like this where if one of the depths is zero and we still want to return the depth of the other side. So we looked at this edge case here where one of the depths is zero here from the left side. So we got a zero, but then from the right side, we got a five or we got a four, right? So, and then we want to add this two to the four. So four plus one, five, which is the answer we need to return from the root to uh, the child. So that's the minimum depth in this case, not zero. So if we just put the minimum if we just took the minimum of both sides and added one, that would give us the wrong answer. So that's why we want to do this. Um, and we're doing the plus one because we want to add the current node we're in. So I have solved a similar problem like this on my channel um, and I will link it in the cards up here somewhere, but it's the maximum depth where I go um, into more details about why we're adding this plus one. But generally we're adding the, that one to uh, make sure that we count the current node we're on. Um, yeah, so with that, we should be able to solve this question. Um, and let's go ahead and look at the code. Okay, awesome. So I'm back in lead code, and the first thing I want to do is write the base case. So I will say if um, root is equal to none, then return zero. Okay, else what we want to check is um, the left depth and the right depth. So I will say left depth equals, and we're going to call this function recursively. So we'll say self dot min depth, and we will pass it root dot left. And similarly, we will get the right depth. So right depth is equal to self dot min depth, and we're going to pass it root dot right. Okay, and then now what we want to do is we want to um, check if either of the left or the right side is a zero or not. So if we look at this case here, um, from the left side, we're going to get a value of zero. And this is the skewed tree that we talked about. So um, we'll get a zero from this case, this side, but from this side, we'll get a five. And the correct answer um, for this question is a five because we don't want to count um, zero here, right? So to do that, we when we hit a case where one of the sides is a zero, we, we just want to return the other side and count the other side. So that's why we have this condition here where we say if, um, if left at, So 
So we'll say if left up is equal to zero or right depth is equal to zero, then what we want to do is we want to return the max to return the max of the left depth and right depth and we're going to add one to it and we're adding one to count the node that we're on um, okay and then else what we want to do is return the minimum of the left depth and this makes sense because we're looking for the minimum depth so we will return the minimum of the left depth and right depth and we are going to add one and yeah so this looks good um, let me go ahead and run this yeah awesome so this else statement would be hit in a case like where we are returning one from this side for to count the nine and then from this side we will be returning a two and then we want to take the minimum right so we want to take this side the left side and we're going to add one to it which is the current node three so that's how we get the answer of two here okay awesome so i'm going to go ahead and submit okay yay success